Hi, Steve from Recall Knowledge here. For this Foundry quick tip, we're actually giving you the most important thing you shouldn't do in Foundry. Now, this is a common mistake made by new users who may be coming from other tabletop software, and they probably don't even know that they're doing something wrong. So let's take a quick look at a scenario and you see if you can spot the mistake. So I'm the GM and I'm building my scene. I've got my map set, I've got my dynamic lighting, sound effect, everything's ready to go, but I still need to add some monsters. Uh, let's do a quick browse of the compendium. Uh, I'll just open Beastary 1 here. Let's go ahead and um, import these to my world. So I'm gonna import all content. Okay, importing 432 actors. So now if I come over to the actors tab, all my monsters are ready for me in the Beastary 1. I'm gonna open it up, um, browse. You know what? I'm feeling like a bullet. So let's drag this bullet to the scene. We'll place it right near the watering hole. Um, I wanna give this bullet some flavor. So I'm going to open it up and instead of just a bullet, I'm gonna name it an agitated bullet. And my PCs will have to try to uh, reason with it or maybe you know kill it or at least subdue it. All right, that's great, that's it. We're done, our scene's ready to go. My players are ready for this fight. Did you catch the mistake? It happened right near the beginning. The mistake was the import all function. Importing an entire compendium is really, really bad. Like, really bad. It's something you want to absolutely 100% avoid doing in Foundry. And that is because of three very important reasons. Number one, performance. The more stuff you have living in your world, the slower it's gonna load for you and your players. And with more actors in the world, any functions or modules that need to search across all the actors for a specific one is gonna be slowed down as well. You've added 432 actors to your world that will likely never be used, and you've slowed it down for everyone in your game without even realizing it. Number two, updates. Now, the compendiums are updated regularly. Sometimes there's changes to how actor data is stored on the system level, and sometimes there's just bug fixes. If there's a bug fix in the compendium that gets fixed, your local copy that you've imported will not get those changes. You'll miss out on any of the fixes that inevitably come down the pipeline. And part of the beauty of the compendium is you'll get those bug fixes. Also, system migrations. Occasionally your game system will have an update that uses a migration, which is basically just a fancy way of saying it has to update a copy of every object in your world to use the new format. If you have hundreds and hundreds of unused items in your world, well, the migration still has to update every single one and that can take a very long time and sometimes even break. You do not want this to happen to you. Every time there's an update, I see people in the PF2E chat going, help, my migration's failing. And invariably, they all have imported all this content into their world. Don't do it, just don't. Number three, it's just unnecessary. There's no need for you to have a local copy of the compendium data. Simply drag the object you want from the compendium and it'll update that automatically. Let's show that I'm going to Delete all. Okay. I'm going to go back to my compendium. I'm going to find my bullet. I'm going to drag it to my scene. I go back to the actors tab. The bullet's there. It's been imported. I have only the actors I need imported into my world. You don't need the overhead of all those objects in your world. Foundry keeps them isolated in the compendium in a read-only state so your game can run faster with only the references it needs. So I guess if there's one thing to take away from this video, it's this. Do not import all your content. Do not do it. Don't, no, no, bad. Stop, I, I see you trying to do it. Don't do it. Hi, Steve from Recall Knowledge here. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure to like and subscribe down below so you can get notified of more awesome content coming your way. 
Also, make sure to follow our channel's Twitter at Recall Knowledge for the latest information. Thanks for watching.